Hey guys, welcome back to Mechanical PE Exam Prep. If you'd like to be notified when I post new videos, go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you want to get the basics down before solving lots of problems, take my Udemy course, HVAC and Refrigeration Fundamentals. In less than five hours, you'll review all the major topics you need for the PE exam. By the end, you'll actually be excited to start studying. And then for part C, they want to know what is the tonnage of the air conditioning unit. So the total capacity of this unit is going to be the sum of three things. Total load is the sensible load plus the latent load plus, and this is something we haven't dealt with at all in this problem so far, this 4500 CFM of outside air. Because of the way it's being handled, some of this air is exhausted and then new air is introduced. After it's introduced, the mixed air, which is the resulting mix from the recirculated air from the room and the newly introduced outside air, mixed together and then the AC unit regardless of what that mixed condition is produces a discharge that is 60 degrees Fahrenheit and of a very particular humidity level which we just calculated so up to this point we haven't really had to care about any of that interaction that's happening in the back we were just looking at what happens between the unit itself and the room but now we're being asked to calculate the total load that that AC unit is carrying. So it's not just the internal loads in the room, sensible and latent, it's also the fact that some of this 77 degree air got dumped outside and now this new hotter air, 90 degrees, got introduced. So we at least have to account for the fact that that newly introduced air has to go from 90 degrees down to 77. That counts for something. That's extra work the AC unit has to do. So I'll call that number Q dot outside air. And since we already know these two numbers, it's really just the outside air that we have to deal with for the first time here. And basically, this we can just calculate as another m dot delta h. And more specifically, the m dot is the mass flow rate associated with that 4500 CFM. So we'll just call that v dot over the specific volume. That'll give us a mass flow rate. And then the difference in enthalpies is the enthalpy outside. Call that h sub o, which is associated with 90 degree dry bulb and 76 degree wet bulb minus the enthalpy inside which is the enthalpy in the room. Note we don't have to use the enthalpy of the discharge air stream because we've already accounted in these calculations for getting the air from 77 down to 60. This is really about getting it from 90 down to 77. So let's calculate this bit. Q dot outside air equals 4500 CFM I'll write it as cubic feet per minute so we can see the units cancel, divided by the specific volume at the outside air condition, which is 14.27 cubic feet per pound. And I'm pulling that from the psychrometric chart or from a psychrometric calculator, whichever is easier for you. Specific volume of the outside at T equals 90 degrees and wet bulb equals 76 degrees. And that's being multiplied by the difference in enthalpies. 39.4 BTU per pound is the enthalpy outside, again associated with these same conditions here, minus the enthalpy in the room, which is 29.3 BTU per pound. And that's associated with the room conditions, HI at T equals 77 degrees F and a relative humidity of 50%. And because these other numbers are going to be in BTUs per hour, this is currently in a per minute basis. So we'll just also multiply by 60 minutes for one hour. And the minutes will cancel, pounds will cancel, and the cubic feet will cancel. So we should end up with BTUs per hour. And that number is 191,100 BTUs per hour which is a pretty significant contribution compared to the other numbers. Let's add them all together. Q total is the sensible 203,600 plus the latent 84,810 plus this outside air piece 191,100 and all of those have units of BTUs per hour. So the total is 479,000 BTUs per hour, and they asked us for the tonnage, so let's just convert that to tons. There are 12,000 BTUs per hour per ton. So BTUs per hour cancels, and we should be left with tons, and that's about 40 tons. And that's answer C.